The grift is accelerating, okay? The grift is accelerating rapidly. I find stuff like this funny. The Black Hammer Gazi Kodso organization, their principal goal is to take disillusioned left-leaning people and move them over to the right. It's a one-way train. You start in left station and you move further and further right. But this stuff is basically the end of that train. This is 100% grift stuff. I gotta say, I still have a headache. This is my favorite thing of today. This is my favorite thing of the day, that I would say. Black Hammer Times, that's the Gazi Kodso outfit. You heard it here first. The Black Hammer Org and the Proud Boys are forming a coalition to defeat the disgusting, pedo-loving, welfare economy demoncrats and their puppet master, Big Pharma, who has been poisoning us all for too long. Is this real? Uh, it's their Twitter account. And yeah, it is actually. Let's listen. Hammer, and we need to all get on the right side of history, which is both sides uniting. The Proud Boys, Black Hammer, Black and Brown working people, white working people coming together against this elite big pharma situation. It is a fight between good and evil we in right now. This is serious stuff, y'all. This is serious stuff. I'm telling you, it's the situation of why I'm here. I'm not here because I like the way Gavin smell. I'm not here because money to bail me out, whatever like that. Trumpers put that money in ASAP and got me out while BLM and Antifa laughed about it, ignored it, and said that they wish I died there because of my stance on pedophilia and the fact that I said- Gazi Koto is pro-pedophilia? That's crazy. Started, I started reading the Bible more. I can't be a oh Christian and be a revolutionary. Jesus was a revolutionary against Rome and shoo. Fauci looking like Caesar to me. Why would he say they didn't want to help me because of my position on pedophilia rather than saying they didn't want to help me because they're pedophiles? Like what? Why would he phrase it in such an ambiguous way? Why would he, why would he do that? I wonder. Yeah, what, what is his stance on the issue? And first, I'm proud of you, son. I'm proud of what you have built. I'm proud of the work you have done. I know it's not easy is, being is a Gabe leader. Is going to talk? Especially against this, this Fauci empire, this Dementia <laughs> Joe empire. Well, you were there from day one. Oh. We say a guru because of you. I know, I know. Okay, so Gazi Kodso, I just want to be clear, is a actual lunatic who uh, probably should be institutionalized. Um, we, we were actually just last night, okay, you guys know the Channel 5 video, the, you know, uh, Callahan, uh, where he made fun of one of that, those Uhuru marches where it was like white people or black people saying white people should give them money. And then the org did a response saying that Andrew Callahan was a white nationalist. And anyway, we did kind of a rabbit hole thing, but... I looked at the, we can just watch the, yeah, well, oh, hold on, you know, I don't, I don't know why I'm referencing something that happened in a prior, I can just, I can just put it here on, I can just show it, uh, here you go. Brilliant stuff, really. Okay. The African People's Socialist Party condemns the recent slanderous attack on our movement for reparations and black freedom by a white nationalist YouTube personality by the name of <laughs> Andrew Callahan. We think it is important to condemn this attack on our movement at a time when African people are being gunned down by the police every single day. It's it, it goes on from there. White nationalists, etc. Yeah, no, it, it's good. It's good. And it keeps going. OK, but anyway, we, we kept going down this this rabbit hole and we found an article. So this uh, woman has run for office locally a couple of times. We found an article on blackhammer.org, uh, which she's a part of, I believe, uh, from Gazi Kodso saying don't vote for her because she's actually the puppet of another cult leader who's using her to do other race stuff. I don't know. Uh, the website's a bit slow, but eventually it's going to load. Yeah, okay. So then Gazi Kodso provided this video, which is of this woman talking about how, well, talking about her leader, so to speak. You know, this is kind of like a cult battle. Say, like... You know, you save my life. You save my life versus just being able to be born and live a free life and not having to feel like that. But we owe our lives to you, Chairman. We owe our lives to you. 
because you saved the world. You saved the entire planet. It is, I admit, just a short clip. I don't know if I could find the whole video. Uh, and I don't have anything against passion, but I'm okay with saying all these people are in a cult. I'm okay with that. That's fine. I'm okay with saying that. I don't really care. You could come out with evidence that I'm wrong. I'd still believe it. I believe it right here in my heart. Spiritually, I believe it. It's a cult. They're crazy. So anyway, uh, it's... Uh, now, I have saved the entire planet, so you can... Right. So anyway, uh, they're they're all insane. So Gazi Code So... I, 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 I was just seeing this like weird culty infighting, but the reason I find this really funny, I think, this in particular is because I genuinely think, isn't this basically just like one step forward from the Jimmy Dore thing? Right? Like, does this not just feel like a Jimmy Dore bit? Like, you could almost read this, you know, like, what, what were they called? The Fred Hampton leftists? But they changed their name because Fred Hampton's son said, hey, fuck off. What, what are the Fred Hampton leftists called now? Revolutionary Blackout? Is that it? Revolutionary Blackout? Okay, gotcha. You heard it here first. Revolutionary Blackout and the Boogaloo Boys are forming a coalition to defeat, and then the rest of it would be basically identical, you know. Um, it, the rest of it would be basically the same. You could keep all this, really, you know. It, it, but it, isn't it the same, right? Because the this griff, this like, um, oh yeah, we're super left-leaning, which is why we only criticize and attack people on the left, love people on the right, work with people on the right, and all of our ideas are conservative, you know. Um, it's it's I feel like it's coalescing a little bit. I saw this just the other day. Uh, Jobson Jankel, J Jibson Jinkel, Jeffrey Dahmer. Yes, uh, recently changed his Twitter bio. Look, here was the last one. Right, we've got the Jersey Shore, communist, anti-imperialist, and American patriot. Streamer, subscribe. And here's the new one. Nicer photo. Actually, a really nice photo. Won't lie. American Patriot. Streamer, subscribe. Now, this was the guy who was screeching that he needs to remove his DSA pin from his jacket because he wants a hammer and sickle pin. I mean, this guy was so communist that he was, he, he was demanding his audience donate him a hammer and sickle patch to put on his... Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, yoink! The grift is accelerating, okay? The grift is accelerating rapidly. As I've said before, whether you're talking about Jimmy Dore, the pseudo-leftists formerly known as the Fred Hampton leftists before Fred Hampton's son got angry at them, uh, uh, you know, Glenn Greenwald, a lot of people like this, you know, their principal goal, and I don't know how much of this is deliberate, how much of this is stupidity, whatever, is to take disillusioned left-leaning people and move them over to the right. But this is a temporal process for every individual member of this group, because the more aggressively you move your audience over to the right, the less easily you're able to appeal to new disillusioned people on the left. You understand? It's a one-way train. You start in left station and you move further and further right. The more right you move, the more conservative your audience gets, but the harder it is for left-leaning people to get on board. Does that track? Jimmy Dore a couple years ago was nowhere near this insane. Not even close. Uh, it, it, this process, it advances with time. Um, so I find stuff like this funny. You know, the... Uh, Black Hammer, Gazi Code. So I'm not even going to bother trying to like politically tear this apart. You know, it's obviously self defeating. Um, but this stuff is basically the end of that train. You know, it is the it's the end of that road. That's the far end of things. So eventually, the 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 self parody reaches the point where I mean, every tweet you make is just going to get ratioed into oblivion. This is just an attention grab. The Proud Boys aren't as big anymore, and Gazi Kotso's an attention whore. So, it's not surprising to me. You know, I actually got an email from Gazi Kotso's producer once. I've talked about this before, but um, let me see if I can find it. I actually got, I got an email from them before. Um, where uh, they were inviting yeah here we go let me let me read this hold on my name oh wait i shouldn't say the name of the person who emailed me that would that's a bit of information that's not relevant and would also be a little bit uncouth i work for gazi code so the black hammer organization i'm emailing you because i believe gazi would be a fantastic guest on your youtube channel opposite you in a debate 
This debate would fortify each side's political stance. Listen to the language. Ghazi would help increase viewership on your channel. Recently, Ghazi was on Elijah Schaffer. That's, he's a groiper now, I think, basically, but this was a year ago. Um, page. Uh, pay attention to how well the interview does compared to other interviews without the same month. Ghazi's interview was heads and shoulders above others in terms of viewership. This is, he's being sold like by a talent agent. This isn't about advocating for a political position. This is about, let's both get attention from this. This is, this is 100% like a, like a grift stuff, you know. Um, the unique perspective Ghazi offers would bring you new audiences and tap into a younger crowd. Take a look at his most famous and viral video. I have never gotten an email from any agent, any manager, any political figure that sounded even remotely like this. This is unique to me. I have it starred in my inbox because the, I've never gotten anything like this. Usually people ask if I want to talk or say there are some interesting subjects to discuss. They don't, they don't sell it to me. They don't pitch the viewership. Like it's just, it's, yeah. Uh, very funny stuff. Did the FBI send you this email directly? Yeah, it was, it was sent directly from the FBI, of course. Um, anyway, brilliant stuff. So, I mean, you, you enjoy the ratio. Stuff like this is really funny. Um, you know, now that I'm looking at it, does anyone else feel like Gavin McGinnis looks really soy? Like, re like now that I'm looking at it, this DreamWorks face, doesn't he? He literally looks like an older and skinnier, the guy who does... Um, the guy who does that, um, the, the show where he like looks into a subject and makes it look like, like, oh, it's not as good as you thought it was. Or like the disillusionment thing. What, what, what am I talking about? Um, he's like a, it, it, Adam something. Adam ruins every, Adam ruins everything. Adam Conover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't, right? A little bit? Don't get me wrong. Like, I don't have anything against Adam Conover. I don't think. Uh, but. I mean, you know what I'm talking about, right? Like, vibe-wise? I can't even... Can I get, like, a DreamWorks face here? Here we go. Maybe a little bit? I don't know. I, I feel like a little bit. It's really kind of an energy thing, in my opinion. It's an energy thing. Not necessarily an appearance thing. It's, it's an energy. It's spiritual. I'm feeling their vibes right now, okay? They're... Their chakrams are resonating. It, it's, a, it's a whole thing. You wouldn't understand. You're not spiritually attuned like I am.